Okay, what I'm going to try and do here is make a welding table for a friend. So I'm going to drill and tap a hole on a two inch grid. Now, this is bigger than my table can handle, so I'm going to have to flip it around. And what I've done is I've drawn these areas, oops, from there over to here, down that way and across there and then back down here. And that's the area that I can handle before I have to rotate it 180. Also, I can't quite get the full length. I'm uh, about six inches short, so I'm gonna have to like do a grid over here and then push the whole thing down that way and then finish the grid over here. Once that's done, I'll rotate it 180 and start on this other half and do the same procedure. So right now I can't lift it up the table any higher than it is. So I'm going to have to set this up on uh, one, two, three blocks. And on, I don't know if you can see here, but on my mill table, I already have a table that uh, it's been uh, machined on a... I like like a VM3, both sides, so it's relatively flat. It also has holes every two inches, so that that's fairly accurate. I'm not gonna machine the surface of this. Um, I'm just gonna put the holes in. Now, if you want a precision welding plate, you'd have to take this out and have it machined on a machine big enough to do the whole surface, because plate like this is typically. Um, it could be bowed and stuff, uh, 20 thousandths, 30 thousandths. So it's not always really flat, but it'll work for the type of uh, welding that uh, we do. Okay, you have to trust me on this, but I got that edge along there within a thousandth of an inch, uh, half thou actually. I don't know how straight it was. The uh, gauge bounces around um, between zero and one as it hits bumps along the way but the general error the entire length is about half a thousandth so I'm going to lock the table down and uh, call that my uh, my datum line okay you can see the one two three blocks I have underneath there and I have those lined up so, yeah. so I have those in between the holes in the table underneath and my holes on the table at the top are going to be almost directly over these holes so I won't be drilling into those one, two, three blocks. Okay, just um, I set this one, two, three block here just to stop some of the chips from flying. It actually helped break them a little bit. They hit the uh, one, two, three block. Okay, this is a Procunior tapping head, uh, size 3, anyway, 3 8 inch tap. So what happens is when you drill down, or tap down, if you don't keep enough pressure on it, it'll the clutch will disengage and the tap will stop. And then you just keep pushing and it'll re-engage and go down. When you get as deep as you want, you just pull up on it and it switches the uh, gears inside and goes in reverse and comes out twice as fast. See how that works.
Okay, let's see how fast we can tap 13 holes in a 5 8 thick aluminum plate. I put uh, anchor lube in all the holes to start off with. Just like butter. Okay, the welding table's all done. Um, I chamfered all the holes, all three eighths on a two by two grid. The only issue I had was my machine didn't quite have the distance, and all the holes are two inches except for uh, the center row. Yeah, these two are a hundred and thirty thousandths the 2.13 instead of two um, but for welding that's fine as long as you know it that you don't measure something off that but the rest of it um, according to my dro is plus or minus a thousandths over the course of the whole plate so should be good enough for welding <laughs>